Hi folks, Sonia Ash here from Ash Design. Today I want to show you how to create a great composite using our digital backdrop. Um, this is called Autumn Path and what we're going to do is I've got another photo open here in a tab. We're going to add this little boy. We're going to cut him out of the background and we're going to um, composite him into this digital backdrop. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to cut him out of the background. So um, there's so many different ways you can do this. You can do this within Photoshop. Um, one way I'm going to show you to do this um, in a way that I really um, have come to uh, like quite a bit lately is an online editor. Um, an online extraction tool rather and that is called remove.bg now this truly is a one-click extraction tool at least in, um, in in my experimentations so let's go ahead and give it a try we're going to upload an image and let's go ahead and upload this little boy and I, I clicked one button and it'll go ahead and perform its extraction and then it shows you right here that it has really very nicely cut him out of the background um, so there's a couple of options you can go in um, and you can choose to edit this and it does does give you some editing tools um, little lacking in my estimation so I actually prefer to do any edits inside of Photoshop um, so let's go ahead and if you click on this little arrow next to download it gives you the option to either download this preview image which I don't suggest because it's a very low resolution image or you can download a full image um, if you're new to remove background you can go ahead and get one for free so go ahead and click free here and it will allow you to download that image and give this a try you can also um, do this from within Photoshop and to do that um, click on this tools button here and that's going to allow you to download um, a plugin for Photoshop which is what I use so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I go about that let's head back over to Photoshop I have downloaded the plugin you can find that if you come up to window uh, extensions and then pull up remove background It'll, it'll show this dialog box over here. So once you have your, your image open, you're simply just going to click on Remove Background. And it's going to do the same thing, basically, that it did in the online tool, only it's going to output it right here inside of Photoshop. You can see how it's created the mask. And it actually gives you, it leaves your original layer here, and then it outputs a second um, layer its extraction so there you are you have this it's all set to go um, let's go ahead now with our move tool selected right here we're going to make sure that your extracted image is selected and we're going to click on the image and we're going to drag it up to our digital backdrop tab and we're going to drop it right onto the canvas so there you can see it. It's really done a very, very nice job with the hair and the edges. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and close that up. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, size your image onto the backdrop here. So um, he's pretty in focus. We're going to want to keep it right sort of on this in focus plane right here. So I'm going to do Control T on my keyboard to transform this layer. You're going to hold down your shift key and grab any one of these four corners to scale him proportionally. And we're just going to kind of fit him in here. He's going to be a little bit bigger because this is a pretty zoomed in image. And again, we're going to probably sit him right about right about in there. And then you can hit enter on your keyboard and that will apply that transformation. Now that we've got him right about where we want him, you can see um, there's quite a few, um, you know, it's sort of cut out here. Um, normally, I would say let's get some shadows under there, but 
what we've done is given you some leaf layers and we're gonna cover him up with some leaves. So let's go ahead and grab one of these layers and you can just sort of position these leaves just to sort of cover up those hard edges. We've got some other leaves over here. Maybe get that in there. And then we've got one more leaf layer that we can sort of fill in there. So then all of a sudden we don't have to go and do add any um, shadows for him. And you know, even if you wanted to maybe add some leaves behind his feet, you could do that too. Uh, maybe come here and duplicate this. You could just drag that down to the little plus sign. That'll duplicate that layer. We could um, maybe move it over here. Maybe put it behind his foot. So to do that, you just want to put it below him in the layer palette. Maybe add a leaf there. Something to that effect. So that just sort of shows you how you can play around with that. Now, the last thing you, you're going to want to do is, you know, we want to kind of weave him into this background a little bit better. He's he's awfully bright um, and his colors are off because if you go back and look at this, he was in a very, very bright setting. So let's try and fix that somewhat. So I've, I've created some color matching layers for you. So we're going to click, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the extracted layer here, your image, and we're going to turn on these matching values and matching color layers. And what we're going to do is we want to clip those to your photo layer. So let's click on matching values and right click and you want to create a clipping mask. And you can see that now that is um, only going to affect just your cutout photo layer. And you're going to do that with match colors too. So we're going to right click, we're going to create a clipping mask. So now those two um, color matching and value matching layers are only affecting just just your cutout photo. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just shut off match values for a moment so that you can see the color um, the color matching. If I shut that off, you can see that it did a nice job, sort of giving it this overall sort of um, warm feel. Um, what you can do is I've got this set to 100% on the um, opacity or fill. Um, I'm going to maybe bring that down somewhat. And this is all to taste. You you decide how much of a fill you want to keep on this. Um, I think 75 actually looks pretty good right there. Now let's go back to uh, matching the values because he is rather hot in this in this darker image. So. We've got him now, you know, we've got that toned down somewhat, but he's toned down too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to click into this mask layer. We are going to grab a brush and make sure that it is a soft round brush, which this is, and make sure that we're painting with black. Um, what you can see, and you're going to want to click right onto that mask layer, and you can tell that it's selected because you've got the four corners right here. So with your black brush, you're going to add back in um, some of the light layers. And I'm going to go a little bit larger. Um, I've got my brush opacity set to 30% here. So let's start with that because we can always we can always add to it. So let's just add in some light layers here. I'm sorry, some some light values. And we're going to be careful not to paint all of it back in, but let's just touch on some areas definitely on this side of his face because you can see the light is coming from this direction. And you can vary it with your brush, make it smaller and larger. Maybe just a little bit on the top of his hand there, a little here, maybe a little on the top of his pants. And you can see how that's actually taking some nice dimension there. And don't worry if you've if you've added too much in. If you feel like you've overdone it and it's so easy to do, um, no worries. You can just um, switch your colors back to white, and you are able to paint back in any dark areas. I'm going to go ahead and turn that back to black, and let's give him a little bit more light on his face. 
And it's kind of nice to um, work with this. You can see, um, you know, th this is the black area here basically is where you've painted the light back in. Um, go ahead and adjust your fill as well. So you can bring that down and that will sort of, this will adjust your lightness, right? So bringing it down actually adds in more light. So again, this is completely to taste. Just sort of give that a look. I think 75 is going to work pretty well there too. Um, and of course, I just love to do the before and afters. So let's go ahead and shut off um, your values and your colors and then turn them back on. And you can see it's really done a, a real nice job of um, weaving your image right into this composite. So I encourage you to play around and share your creations in our Facebook group.